Good morning, this is Jason Dean coming live at you again for another Film Fanatic show. It is uh, Monday, happy Labor Day. Got today off, long weekend. It's about uh, 11 o'clock on a Monday. Pretty nice day today. The weather was pretty spectacular yesterday on Sunday. And I think it's supposed to be pretty nice today, so pretty cool. It's nice to have, we've had some nice weather this, this past week. Even though, like, here we are in September already, 2023, it's just, uh, it's kind of bananas how things go by so quick. Today's show is on this amazing movie that I saw last night that I had never seen before. I had heard about it. Sergio, and it was, was directed by Sergio Martino, who is, you know, one of the, kind of the greatest kind of exploitation directors around. And that is... Scorpion with Two Tails. I picked this movie up last month at Bull Moose. I sat down and watched it last night. Oh, what a great movie. The whole film is, is so interesting. It really... When I looked it up to do some extra research about the film, it, it's kind of more or less labeled as a, as a horror film. But it has... The, the first thing I got from this film was that it really felt like it played out like a giallo film. And, you know, like, I, I, I've done a show, I did a show where I talked about horror, the horror exploitation world, the exploitation world, and all of those things that that involves, and Giallo, uh, the Giallo world, and kind of, you know, talked about just a basic kind of synopsis of, you know, what those things mean, and what, you know, what, you know, when a film is in that style, like, you know, or what are those, what are those elements about a particular film, or, or a group of films that, Put it into that category or those various categories and uh you know so the giallo thing is very interesting it's sergio martino is an italian director and the italians have a very distinct voice when it comes to filmmaking and especially in the 60s well 50s 60s and 70s and 80s they had a very unique way of uh creating films but they also created these genres of films that were are definitely like a hundred percent uniquely italian you know um one other genre that the italians created that is very much onto itself is the the spaghetti western you know with all of the wondrous films by ennio morricone who was the composer but sergio leone was the director and there's a whole slew of other italian directors Sergio Leone being probably the most popular in the spaghetti western genre. But again, very brutal movies, pretty low budget. They really, you know, really dirty and kind of gritty. And there is a whole, you know, pool of just amazing directors that put out spaghetti westerns. But any more, uh, Sergio. Sergio Leone is probably the most well known in that in that uh style. And it's uh it's unique because it's 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 a unique art form because it's it was completed by and and or brought to light and created by the the Italians. Another genre too that is uniquely Italian is the giallo. And giallo is basically the you know the Italian version of films that were you know very much taken and inspired by, you know, uh, like the, your classic Agatha Christie story, like a, a murder who, a murder who, a mystery film or story, and the Italians, you know, adapted things from that, <clears throat> from that particular genre, which was British, and kind of made it at that time something a little bit more unique, a little bit sleazy. They would also throw in other elements of, of fantasy, supernatural elements, horror elements sex elements, uh, lots of violence, all the good things, you know, so very unique. But that was the thing that I thought when I was watching this film, and especially by the end, was that it had very much a giallo flavor, which I, you know, I love the giallo uh, style so much. And this film uh, came out in 1982, and like I said, it was directed by Sergio Martino, who is, you know, just a legend in the world of exploitation and especially the giallo world 
All the Colors of the Dark. He uh, was one of his films in 1978-72. The Strange the Case, or The Strange Vice of Miss Wardu, which is, uh, I have that on Blu-ray, and out of the Giallo films that I've seen in the early exploitation movies that came out of Italy, it's probably my favorite. It's it's so amazing. It's such an incredible movie. Um, yeah, and another film that he's probably most well known for <clears throat> from the uh, 1978, or I should say, sorry, 1973, Torso. That's probably the movie that is most uh, was probably Sergio Martino's most popular film. He's still around. He's still going strong too, and uh, uh, just you know, a legend in 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 the filmmaking world, particularly in the giallo and exploitation world. Your Vice is a locked room in 1972. Uh, Slave of the Cannibal God in 78. Island of the Fishman in 79. Just great. Just fabulous. And I, I had heard about this movie. Again, it came out in uh, 1982, but I had never seen it before. And the premise of the story is great. It's basically about this guy who is an archaeologist, and he's doing all of these... Uh, He's researching and, and discovers all of this thing about this ancient civilization, the Etruscans, and he eventually goes. Uh, he gets killed, and he is basically ritual, ritualistically killed. Based, and it, it follows the same patterns of the ritualistic aspects of the Etruscans. So it's very interesting, and. Uh, this movie, like I said, has this really cool thing where I feel like it's definitely a giallo film, but it has lots of elements of the supernatural, and it's definitely a horror film in a lot of ways. And it, it does such a great job with, like, kind of walking a line or toting that line, which I think, in general, is a really great thing for films. When a film can be... You know, you, you could see it being a real, <clears throat> something set in reality, but then it could also be pure fantasy, and it can be, um, it, it like totes that line. <clears throat> it's like right in the middle. And this film is a really great example of that. Like, it, <clears throat> you could see it being purely set in either, either of those kinds of worlds. So it, I just feel like it helps build a lot of the tension it's, you know, it has all of these layers, like typically a Giallo film does. There's a lot of, you know, a big, some of the other characteristics of the Giallo style is there's a lot of interesting plot twists that you don't normally see. And it, and it kind of messes with your expectations a little bit. And this movie does that uh, very well. But this transfer, the transfer of this movie is pretty good. It's, it's pretty awesome. There are, Unfortunately, there's no... I got this really cheap, but there's no special features on here. There's a thing of trailers, you know, from a, a bunch of movies that came out in Europe in the 80s, which I haven't watched, but which is cool, but unfortunately, there's no... Um, no trailers, um, no special features. But, but it's still an amazing movie, and I got a really... got it for a really good price so cool um and again when i got done watching it i'm just like this is why i just these movies i love all kinds of styles of films i love all kinds of genres but this is why i just you know i just love the exploitation world the most and you know it's just the, the grittiness the you know i think a lot of the times the the amount of creativity the way a lot of these great directors will blend all of these genres and they're, they're not afraid to, you know, kind of take chances. But at the same time, you know, they're on the campier side. The acting isn't really great. There's a, sometimes there are, you know, these little, you know, the editing might not be great or there might be these plot holes that happen. But as a whole, I just feel like it, it makes for uh, an even more enjoyable experience. The music is always fantastic. Um, you know, it's just got this gritty, you know, grimy vibe to it. And I just, 
I can't get enough of it. It's just so awesome. And Sergio Martino is, like I said, he's still he's still around. I have a few of his movies on on Blu-ray, and the last one I got was um, the Strange Vice of Miss Wardo. I have that on Blu-ray. I picked that up a couple months ago. I did a show. I did a review on that, and there's a really amazing interview with Sergio Martino that was done I believe like last year and it's really interesting so a movie of her of his torso is always talked about uh you know Eli Roth the famous horror director and Quentin Tarantino who have talked about that movie uh many many times in interviews as, as being like you know one of their favorite films I think I've I probably have seen it um when I did see it, it was like forever ago. But I am on the I'm on the hunt to to try to find it because I do want to see it. It's an essential movie, I think. So, and he's just so awesome. And I the interview that he gives is so interesting and insightful, and really takes you know takes you into this deep dive of that whole world and that whole period of filmmaking in it in, in Italy in the 60s and 70s. Just super interesting, super fascinating. And uh, so, like, again, most of the movies I've been buying lately have, have been films I've that I haven't seen before. And I've been just throwing caution in the wind. And, you know, the prices, first and foremost, the prices for a lot of these films has just been really terrific. So that's been, you know, overall probably the, the biggest factor. I try to seek out movies that have a lot of special features, obviously. But... If it's on Blu-ray and it looks like it's a really good transfer and it's really cheap, I'll snag it up regardless. But I try to seek out the films that have that. You know, you just get more bang for your buck. And, you know, unfortunately, there isn't, there's no special features on there. There is a bunch of trailers from the 70s and 80s on here, but which is cool. But, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for special features. So, but still, nevertheless, I'm super excited I bought this and I'm you know, adding this to my collection, but uh, super cool movie, super interesting, and it really, for me as a viewer, my first time viewing, I watched it last night for the first time, it really messes with my ex expectation, and I love how it just, you know, like I said, it, it, it walks that line, and you feel like, well, maybe this whole thing is just, you know, this, this character, she's having a hallucination. It's not really happening. It's not. It's all in her head. She's having some kind of you know mental breakdown. Because in in reality, her husband does does die and and disappears. But so it's. But then it has all of these great horror elements, and it's very mysterious, very very cool. And I love the ending for this film too. It's super cool. And very excited that now I that I own this and it's now part of my collection. But uh, Scorpion with Two Tails, definitely check this out by Sergio Martino from 1982. Killer flick. So thanks again. This is Jason Dean, and we will see you next time. Peace.